It started as a routine sky survey blip, a faint point of light moving on an odd path, but quickly became a cosmic sensation. In early July 2025, telescopes in Chile, part of the Atlas Asteroid Survey, detected an object so fast and straight in its trajectory that astronomers realized it must have come from outside our solar system. By July 2nd, NASA confirmed the discovery. The newly named 3I Atlas, Comet C2025N1, is an interstellar visitor, only the third ever confirmed. The minor planet community had scraped together pre-discovery images, some back to mid-June, to nail down its orbit, and more than 100 observations poured in from around the world. In short order, the cosmic outlier went from a mystery labeled A11PL3Z to 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object, 3I, after 1I Oumuamua and 2I Borisov. 3I Atlas arrived from the direction of Sagittarius, currently about 670 million kilometers, roughly 4.5 astronomical units, from the Sun. Its orbit is highly hyperbolic, with an eccentricity of about 6.2, meaning it will never return. It's just zipping through. Measurements show it hurtling along at an extraordinary 66 kilometers relative to the Sun, or about 152,000 miles per hour. This thing is traveling pretty fast, says NASA scientist Paul Chodas, emphasizing that the track only makes sense for an interstellar origin. Observers have charted its path. 3I Atlas will swing past Mars's orbit in early October 2025, reach perihelion on October 30th at about 1.4 AU from the Sun, then head back out. Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun during this pass, so the comet never comes near us. Its closest approach will be about 1.6 AU, around 150 million miles away. In practice, this means no threat to Earth, but it offers an unprecedented chance to study a chunk of another star system. Astronomers have mobilized every resource, from ground telescopes on all continents to space telescopes, keeping 3I Atlas under intense watch. All three interstellar visitors so far have been surprises, but 3I Atlas may be the strangest yet. It outshines them all. Early images suggested it might be tiny, but in fact it's massive by comet standards. If its surface were dark like a typical asteroid, it would need a diameter of roughly 20 kilometers to reflect the observed sunlight, over 10 million times the mass of Oumuamua. That would dwarf the few hundred meter size of Oumuamua and even Borisov's kilometer-scale nucleus. Modeling its brightness in more conventional terms, European Southern Observatory scientist Olivier Heino estimates 3I Atlas could be around 15 kilometers across, though uncertainties remain. Either way, this object appears to be far larger than any interstellar rock we've glimpsed before. The evidence suggests 3I Atlas is a comet. Follow-up imagery shows a fuzzy coma and even hints of a tail developing. The IAU has given it a cometary designation, and teams have already detected faint gas and dust enveloping it. Observations by the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope revealed subtle activity, a slight fuzz that an image stack could pull out. As it heats up near the sun, this interstellar rock is starting to vent volatiles, like a familiar comet. Its story stands alongside those of its two predecessors. One Eye, Umamua, discovered in 2017, was a cigar or pancake-shaped object that flashed through the solar system at high speed. It surprised scientists by speeding up as it left the sun, hinting at outgassing or other unknown forces. Its strange acceleration and lack of visible gas made it a complete mystery, even sparking bold guesses, most famously by Avi Loeb, that it might be an alien probe. 2I Borisov, found in 2019, turned out to be more familiar, a very icy comet with a blue-green glow and a visible tail. Its chemistry was unusual, richer in carbon monoxide than local comets, but it behaved like a normal active comet. Now, 3I Atlas, may be a hybrid. It's moving on a trajectory even more extreme than Oumuamua's, and it's much larger than either of the predecessors. Preliminary data show a fairly flat light curve, far less wobbling than Oumuamua displayed, but a visible coma like Borisov's. Given the uncanny history, experts are weighing in. The consensus is that 3I Atlas is almost certainly a natural comet, but its unusual properties fuel speculation. NASA's Chodas is cautious, saying, 
We've been expecting to see interstellar objects for decades. Even though it's natural, it's not artificial, don't get excited. For now, the comet shows no obvious sign of exotic propulsion. Still, Avi Loeb and others argue we should keep an open mind. Loeb notes that if 3i Atlas really is 20 kilometers across and rocky, its sheer mass is staggering, over 10 million times larger than that of Oumuamua. Why would we see such a behemoth first, when models predict millions of smaller fragments for every object this large? One answer could be that 3i Atlas isn't a solid rock at all, but an active comet whose dust shell makes it look huge. Loeb points out that the faint coma supports this possibility. He has also suggested using the James Webb Space Telescope for a definitive test. By observing the object from Webb's vantage point, scientists could measure any non-gravitational acceleration with unprecedented precision. Webb's infrared detectors can also gauge the comet's heat and size directly. If 3i Atlas were driven by technology, the clue might lie in tiny mismatches of motion that Webb could reveal. Other researchers emphasize patience. Each interstellar find is extraordinary, but extremely faint. They urge continued monitoring for activity and spectrum. If 3i Atlas is an icy comet, its composition could carry clues about a distant planetary system's chemistry. If it somehow seems richer in exotic material or shows bizarre behavior, it might hint at new physics. For now, telescopes from Hawaii to Chile and networks like Las Cumbres and the upcoming Rubin Observatory are racing to gather data. The appearance of 3i Atlas so soon after its predecessors still feels remarkable. Only two interstellar objects were known between 2017 and 2019, then a five-year silence, and now three by 2025. Have we just gotten lucky, or is the galaxy really teeming with these wayward wanderers? Some astronomers suggest the latter. Each new find provides more evidence that such interstellar wanderers are relatively common in our galaxy. In fact, some analyses imply there could be vast numbers of these objects. One recent study speculates that up to a million interstellar objects larger than the Statue of Liberty might be cruising the outer solar system unseen. Technology is improving. Surveys like Atlas and the Zwicky Transient Facility are combing the skies night after night, and next-generation observatories promise even more. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory will scan the heavens starting soon and is expected to catch dozens of interstellar objects per year. Every detection enriches the picture. 3i Atlas's retrograde orbit and steep inclination hint it came from the Milky Way's thin disk just above our galactic plane. Combining that with compositional data could eventually point toward which stellar neighborhood it came from. Space agencies are taking note. The European Space Agency has already built a Comet Interceptor probe, set to launch in 2029, whose mission is to swoop in on a long-period comet or a lucky interstellar object. We're preparing to meet the next 3i Atlas head-on. Meanwhile, everyone from amateur astrophotographers to Hubble and Webb stands by, streaming data to the world. Every interstellar visitor carries a message from the galaxy. These icy messengers offer a rare, tangible connection to the broader galaxy, to materials formed in environments entirely unlike our own. Whether 3i Atlas turns out to be a giant icy comet or something more outlandish, its journey through our skies reminds us that Earth is not alone. Our sun is just one star in a vast cosmic neighborhood. With each new comet or asteroid from beyond, we have a fleeting chance to hold a piece of another solar system in our telescopes and to deepen our understanding of how worlds form throughout the galaxy.